Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. May we invite you to join us in our prayers today. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions. For the needs and intentions of the Greenbelt Chapel community, for all of us here present and the members of our families, and also for those who have asked for our prayers, let us continue praying for all the victims of war, violence, and natural calamities. Let us now pray the Holy Rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thou, o Lord, will open my lips. And my tongue shall announce thy praise. Incline unto my aid, O God. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us now meditate on the five joyful mysteries. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation of the Lord to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us offer this mystery for the needs and intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for his good health, safety, and protection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The, the second joyful mystery is the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary to her cousin Elizabeth. Let us offer this mystery for the needs and intentions of the church and the world, for wisdom and guidance for all church and government leaders, for their good governance and true conversion. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. Amen. The third joyful mystery is the birth of Jesus. Let us offer this mystery for the complete healing and recovery of all who are sick, and for all those who care for them, that they may find comfort and protection in their time of need. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation of Jesus at the temple. Let us offer this mystery for all our personal needs and intentions, and the needs and intentions for all the members of our families, relatives, loved ones, and friends, and for all those who have asked for our prayers especially the intentions offered by the Greenbelt Chapel community. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. Amen. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding of Jesus in the temple. Let us offer this mystery for all the souls in purgatory, especially the souls of our beloved dead relatives and friends, and those who died with no one to pray for them. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. 
To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries, of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O Most Gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. O Saint Joseph, foster father of Jesus, most pure spouse of the Virgin Mary, pray for us daily to the same Jesus, the Son of God, that we, being defended by the power of his grace, and striving faithfully in life, may be crowned by him at the hour of death. Amen. Divine Child Jesus, Santo Nino the Past. Bless and protect us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Padre Pio of Pietrelcina. Pray for us. All the angels and saints. Pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Novena prayer to Santo Nino de Paz, titular of Greenbelt Chapel. Together, O divine infant, after the wonders of your birth in Bethlehem, you wish to extend your infinite mercy to the whole world by calling the wise men by heavenly inspiration to your crib, which was in this way changed into a royal throne. You graciously received those holy men who were obedient to the divine call and hastened to your feet. They recognized and worshipped you as Prince of Peace, the Redeemer of humankind and the very Son of God. Show us your goodness and almighty power. Enlighten our minds, strengthen our wills, and inflame our hearts to know you, to serve you, and to love you in this life, that we may merit to find our joy in you eternally in the life to come. Jesus, most powerful child, I implore you again to help me. Together, Jesus, divine child, great omnipotent God, I implore through your most holy mother's most powerful intercession and through the boundless mercy of your omnipotence as God for a favorable answer to my prayer during this novena. Grant me the grace of possessing you eternally with Mary and Joseph and of adoring you with your holy angels and saints. Amen. O oh, Jesus, who has said, Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened. Through the intercession of Mary, your most holy mother, I knock, I seek, I ask, that my prayer be granted. O oh, Jesus, who has said, All that you ask of the Father in my name, he will grant you. Through the intercession of Mary, your most holy mother, I humbly and urgently ask your Father in your name that my prayer will be granted. O Jesus, who has said, 
Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Through the intercession of Mary, your most holy mother, I feel confident that my prayer will be granted. O divine child Jesus, hear us in our difficulties, help us from the enemies of our soul, save us in our errors, enlighten us in our doubts and pains, comfort us in our solitudes, be with us in our diseases, invigorate us when others despise us, encourage us in temptations, defend us in difficult hours, strengthen us with your tender heart. Love us with your immense power. Protect us. And into your arms when we die. Receive us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us now pray the Regina Celli. Please all stand. Queen of heaven, rejoice, alleluia. For he whom you did marry to bear, alleluia. Has risen, as he said, alleluia. Pray for us to God, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia. For the Lord has truly risen, alleluia. Let us pray, O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Grant, we beseech thee, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon us and remain with us always. Amen. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Let us all please be seated for a while.
Good evening, brothers and sisters. To preserve the solemnity of our celebration, let us please turn off our cell phones or put them on silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. We have some announcements. You are invited to join the praise and worship every Tuesday after the 6 p.m. Mass. With music, prayer, and thanksgiving, let us celebrate our faith and find hope in the Lord. You are also invited to the liturgical Bible study of Father Francis Gustilo, SDB, every Wednesday after the 6 p.m. Mass. In partnership with the Assumption College Counselors and Sister Amy Hernandez of Verbum Dei Missionaries, Greenbelt Chapel is offering free counseling for individuals, couples, and families. You may schedule an appointment through the chapel office or call 7729-8173. The book, It's All About Relationships by our chaplain, Father Dave Concepcion, is now available again at the chapel office. For more information, you may visit the Facebook page of the chapel. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is April 15, 2024, Monday of the third week of Easter. Our presider for this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. Please stand and let us sing our entrance hymn. A new song unto the Lord, let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing alleluia. Glad my soul, for I have seen the glory of the Lord. The trumpet sounds, the dead shall be raised. I know my Savior lives. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us of our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, we may live as Christ did. For through the healing Paschal remedies, you have conformed us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called synagogue of freedmen, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia came forward and debated with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then 
they instigated some men to say, We have heard him speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, the elders, and the scribes, accosted him, seized him, and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They presented false witnesses who testified, This man never stopped saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him claim that this Jesus the Nazarene will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the Sanhedrin look intently at him and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Though princes meet and talk against me, your servant meditates on your statutes. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. I declared my ways and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had fed the 5,000 men, in his disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there has been only one boat there and that Jesus had not gone along with his disciples in the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tiberias near the place where they had eaten the bread when the Lord gave thanks. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And they, and when they found him across the sea, the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, 
but for food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on Him the Father God has set His zeal. So they said to Him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one He sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Someone asked the question, Is obedience to parents absolute? Is obedience to parents absolute? And I said, No. No. Only God is absolute. Tapos sabi niya, pero bakit sinabi mo kahapon, Father? He is referring to the homily yesterday that if you have friends who will instigate you to disobey your parents, you avoid them. You avoid them. What if their parents, Father, tells them to do what is wrong? Are they supposed to obey their parents? Of course, the answer is no. The answer is no. Eh, pero sabi mo kahapon, Father, obey your parents. The context about the homily yesterday is the struggle between truth and feelings. Truth and feelings. You should never allow your feelings to overrule what is true. You should never allow your feelings to overrule what is true. Ano sabi ko po kahapon? Feelings are temporary. Decisions are permanent. Feelings are temporary. Decisions are permanent. The moment you decide because of how you feel, you might regret it. You might regret it. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, but, this is the capital B-U-T, but, God said, honor your mother and father. You can still disagree with your parents, but with respect. As Stephen Covey have said this, you can disagree agreeably. You can disagree agreeably. Pwede nating pagkasunduan na hindi tayo magkakasundo. At least nagkasundo tayo. Hindi po ba? No? At least nagkasundo tayo. You don't have to shout. You don't have to raise your voice. You don't have to curse. You don't have to disrespect anyone, anyone who does and say contrary to what you believe. I am presuming that you are doing what is right. That is the presumption. That you're doing what is right and you are making a choice of what is true. Anong meron sa mga pagbasa ngayon? Anong mga meron sa mga pagbasa ngayon? If you go to Holy Land it, and you want to enter the old city, most of the time, your guide will lead you to a gate called St. Stephen's Gate. St. Stephen Gate. Why it is called St. Stephen? It is the very gate where St. Stephen was stoned to death. 
it was the gate almost 2,000 years ago where St. Stephen was stoned to death. Why was he stoned to death? Because of the first reading. He has spoken of what is true, of what is right. Ang malaking tanong, ipinaglalaban pa ba natin ang katotohanan? Ipinaglalaban pa ba natin ang tama? Mga minamahal mga kapatid, sabi nga na nag-share, merong pinapa-aprobahan sa kanyang kontrata at alam niyang illegal yun. Alam niyang illegal. At sabi niya, hindi pwede. Hindi pwede. Tapos, sinipa siya. Sinipa. At sinabi sa kanya, yung pong paper bag, yung pong paper bag, may lamang 500,000. Just sign the contract. Just sign the contract. Sinipa niya rin yung paper bag. At sabi niya, I cannot do it. I cannot do it. But after the meeting, tinawagan niya ako. Sabi niya, alam mo, Father, kailangan, kailangan ko ng pera. Ang hirap palang sipain o 500,000. <laughs> Lalong-lalo na pagkailangan, kailangan mo. Feeling ko, Father, maintindihan ako ng Diyos kung tinanggap ko yun. Nakikinig lang ako at sabi ko, bakit hindi mo tinanggap? Sabi niya, ha? Pwede ko palang tanggapin? Sabi ko, hindi, tinatanong ko lang. Tinatanong ko lang. Bakit hindi mo tinanggap? Sabi niya, natakot ako. Natakot ako. Sabi ko, salamat. Biyaya yun. Huwag kang mag -alala. May darating na ibang biyaya. Are we really willing to make a stand? Willing to die? Mock? Persecuted? I do not know. But how many among us, how many among us would compromise our faith for a little pleasure, for a little comfort, for a temporary joy? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, try to examine. What is the gospel trying to tell us? Jesus was telling the people, You are looking for me, not because you believe, but because I have fed you. Mahirap namang ang babaw lang ng dahilan, kaya mo hinahalap ang Diyos. Dahil nakakain ka lang. Dahil nakakain ka lang. Dahil nakita mo lang kung paano pinakain ng Diyos ang liman libong lalaki, hindi kasali sa bilang ang babae at mga bata. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, what the gospel is trying to tell us is to examine the reason why we pray, why we seek God. As I have said yesterday, as I have said yesterday, you can always look for a good teacher. But Jesus is not just a teacher. What Jesus is offering is salvation. You have to understand this. Hindi lahat ng mahihirap tinulungan ng Diyos. Hindi lahat ng may sakit pinagaling ng Diyos. Hindi lahat ng pilay, bulag, bingi pinagaling ng Diyos. Hindi lahat ng dumulog sa Diyos pinakinggan ng Diyos sapagat hindi yun ang dahilan kung bakit ang Diyos ay nagbata, namatay, at muling nabuhay. What is God trying to offer or is offering to us is salvation. 
is salvation. If you can look for another God who can offer you salvation, maybe God would say, make a choice. Make a choice. But you can find no one. Teachers, gurus in the past have taught many things, but no one among them have died and have risen from the dead after three days. No one among them. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, again, every time we are tempted to compromise our values and principle, it's good to ask ourselves, what will I gain in breaking the law? What will I gain in breaking the law? Amen. Let us all rise and bring to God our prayers and petitions. Only God the Father can satisfy the hunger of the heart and of the Spirit, so we bring our needs before Him and let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may awaken in her members a hunger and thirst for the bread of eternal life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may realize that the longings of the heart cannot be satisfied by the pursuit of worldly success or material comfort, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let those who spend their time uselessly searching for joy and happiness in the wrong way may find the right direct direction in life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may receive comfort and attention from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may be united with Christ in the new life of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us also bring to God our own personal prayers and petitions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, you have given us the bread from heaven as food for our pilgrim journey. Guide our steps in the way of justice and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries 
of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered here before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence and I invite your brothers and sisters that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. Remember also all our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Padre Pio, Petro China, and all the saints of Lisha throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen.
gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world. And grant unity in accordance, with <coughs> in accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. 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 <coughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in holy communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. For a solemn reception of communion, we will do it row by row. Please follow the guidance of our ushers. Also, please consume the host immediately after receiving them in front of the minister.
pray the prayer of Padre Pio Petrocina. Please kneel. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have your presence so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much, and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it, but the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you and ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God who restores us to eternal life, in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. Last Wednesday, I had a fever, 39.3. It was alarming and I told my cardiologist of what I'm having and a lot of questions. Sabi niya, paratsete mo lang muna tayo, Father. Pero pagbukas meron pa yan, ay pag-usapan natin. That was Wednesday evening. Nagmisa pa ako ng Wednesday lunch. Thursday, may sinat pa. Friday, may sinat pa. Hindi ako nagmisa. Pero nung Saturday, sabi niya, dapat magpa-antigen ka na at saka blood test. Ano po? Antigen, negative. Blood test, lumabas na may trace ako ng dengue 
at medyo bumababa yung platelets. Pero nagmisa na ako na Sabado ng gabi. Sabi ng isang doktor, tigas ng ulo mo, father. Ano pa? Sabi naman ng isa, kung ako sa'yo, hindi muna ako nagmisa. Sinagot ko siya, kung ako ikaw, hindi rin ako magmimisa. Ano pa? Pero pari ako. Ano pa? Pero pari ako. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, many times I have said this. When priorities are clear, decisions are easily made. When priorities are clear, decisions are easily made. If you are having dilly-dally in the things you do, either you kick or take the bag containing 500,000, it will speak of your priorities. It will speak of your priorities. Perhaps a deeper question I would like to pose tonight is, what can you really gain from breaking the law? What can you really gain from breaking the law? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. Oh, I sing the wisdom that ordained the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at his command and all the stars obey. I sing the goodness of the Lord that filled the earth with food. He formed the creatures with his word and then pronounced them good. Lord, how your wonders are displayed wherever I turn my eye. If I survey the ground I tread or gaze upon the sky. Alleluia, alleluia. I sing the mighty power of God. 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 Thank you, sisters and brothers, for coming to celebrate the Mass with us. May you all have a safe 